All right, well, we have a, something here, a device yes. that could potentially be an important diagnostic for back pain. Tell us about it. So this is Sydney, and she is in a machine that really checks for the motion of the spine passively. So it's bending her. And then if she has any pain beforehand or any pain during this procedure in real time, and you can see this in the monitor behind me, it really allows us to look at the spine as it's moving. We're so accustomed to seeing hearts beat and check for diagnoses and the brain light up during certain tests. This is the first time we've really been able to see um, the spine move. So rather than just an x-ray, you actually see this dynamic it, image. Exactly, and you can coordinate it with what, how people are feeling at the time. Now, we're demonstrating it here today, but in the hospital, there's radiation associated with this. It's only in a handful of hospitals around the country. And as we talk about appropriate testing, it may not be the first trust of choice. Do you but see it's really this the technology of the future. I was going to say, do you see this becoming yeah. more prevalent? Well, anytime you can see something in real time and you can coordinate it with how a person feels, it's going to give you a better insight into what their problem is. Okay, if you don't have this contraption in your house yes. <laughs> or at your doctor's <laughs> office, real quickly, what are some good back pain recommendations? Pre prevent it in the first place. Strong core muscles, you'll have a strong back.